When the average person thinks of Iran, the first image that comes up is probably of the modern day Islamic Republic led by its supreme leader. Others think of the ancient Persians that once dominated the Middle East. Either way, it's doubtful that many know about the diversity within the country. Many assume that the Persian speaking citizens of Iran's capital, Tehran, are the only group within the country. As usual, the truth resists simplicity. Persians within Iran only make up about 60% of the population, with the other 40% being made up of many different ethnic groups, one of which are the Iranians of Africa descent who are estimated to make up about 10 to 12 percent of the population within southern Iran. The idea of descendants of black Africans in Iran often surprises many. Even some people in northern Iran seem to be completely unaware of their existence. Those that do know of them have assumed that the people of southern Iran are darker because of the hot climate. The reality is that Afro-Iranians are descendants of black Africans from East Africa who were taken to the Middle East as enslaved people or traveled there as laborers. Many of the ancestors of the Afro-Iranians arrived as enslaved Africans Africans transported across the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean was home to various trade routes that connected regions such as East Africa, the Middle East, India, and parts of East Asia. Most enslaved black Africans came from the area called the Zanj, which is located on the coast of East Africa. Bantu people who lived in the Zanj would be sold by Omani slavers primarily to the Middle East and India. Communities of these descendants of Africans can be found not just in Iran, but throughout the countries of the Middle East who had access to the Persian Gulf. It's worth noting that slavery in Iran was not based on race. Many enslaved people in the country were also Georgian and Circassians from Europe. In the 19th century, access to enslaved Europeans dwindled after a conflict between Russia and Iran closed the latter off from attaining enslaved people from Europe. This led to increased demand for enslaved people from Africa during Iran's Qajar dynasty. Often, these enslaved people were forced to do fishing and agriculture, hence why Afro-Iranians are concentrated near Iran's coast. Some were also soldiers or domestic servants for aristocratic families and royalty. Many in Iran prefer to refer to these black Africans as servants because they feel they were not treated like the enslaved people in other parts of the world. Men would often be made eunuchs, but this wasn't universal because some did manage to have families, and women would be made concubines for aristocrats and royalty. Not all black Africans in Iran were enslaved though. Some free men immigrated to the area to work as sailors or pearl divers. Slavery in Iran would be formally abolished in 1929, and thousands of former enslaved people would be freed as a result. Today, most Iranians of African descent live in three provinces within Iran. Many have last names that are connected to regions their ancestors were taken from. For instance, descendants of those from Zanzibar will have the last name Zanzibari. Assimilation of these communities within Iran has varied depending on the location. Some have assimilated very well. They speak fluent Farsi along with whatever local language that's prevalent and even participate in interracial marriages. Other communities rarely marry outside their culture and have a strict caste system that prevents social mobility. There are typically three castes known as Derzade, Gulam, and Nukar, and there is very little intermarriage between them. Derzade are perceived as the highest because they are supposed to be descendants of free black Africans who settled in Iran. Gulam and Nukar are seen as the lower caste because they're usually descendants of enslaved Africans taken from the Zanj. Afro-Iranians have had a major impact on Iranian culture, such as helping develop Bandari music, which is a staple of southern Iran. Overall, Afro-Iranians occupy a fascinating part of Iranian culture, but their history is being forgotten because many would rather simply forget the sins of slavery. All this being said, as this history becomes rediscovered by historians and anthropologists, we must make sure we do not make the mistake of separating Afro-Iranians from Iranian society. Many in the Afro-Iranian community simply view themselves as Iranian and perceive the term Afro-Iranian as a challenge to their identities. While Westerners and Iranian diaspora might look at Afro-Iranians as some newly discovered group in Iran, the reality is they've been in the country for generations and to treat them as a people separate from Iranians just because they happen to be of African descent would be wrong. The history of Iranians of African descent must not be forgotten, but rather recognized as a part of the overall history of Iran and its people.